So where are you from in the States? I was born in Missouri and spent about 15 years there and then 16 actually and then I moved to Colorado and spent from 96 until 2008 in Colorado and then 2008 I left in January of 2008 to go to Bulgaria and I was there for two and a half years traveling around Eastern Europe and the Mediterranean um, before I came to Latin America and I've been down here since then. Construction company? Uh, I did for um, Quite a while, actually. I was in the industry for about 15 years with the family, um, third generation ceramic tile and natural stone contractor. Um, and I did it on my own from 2001 um, until 2008, so about seven years self-employed. And then when the construction industry went under in 2007, that was really the motivation to leave because we went from doing 80000 a year in business to having 32000 in 2007. So I lost $50,000 worth of income, and that just kind of shut me down and then looking at the books there was nothing on the books for six months it was the middle of winter um, at the time I was in, involved with a Bulgarian and um, she owned an apartment in Bulgaria so it was like well let's sell all our stuff and go off and travel and have fun so that's what we did so yeah I mean, that's the you know construction is a long ways away in my past I still do piddle fart around the house sometimes repairs and stuff but I don't do it for a living anymore okay okay so tell us, how did you come up with margins for your for your blogging business? Wow. Um, well, that's actually a, I'll give you the short version. <laughs> um, I actually started Marginal Boundaries when I was still living in Bulgaria. It was an actual it was a science fiction and fantasy. It was a speculative fiction magazine. We did one issue, and then things fell apart in Bulgaria. The relationship ended, um, and I left. And it sat there for about a year and a half or so. And then I was working on contracts in Cancun, and a buddy of mine um, asked me, um, have you ever considered travel blogging? And I said, no, you know, what is this? And then at the same time, I had just gotten a contract to do a Cancun guidebook. And so that got me into looking into this whole location-independent lifestyle, and I found out that there was this whole subgenre, um, this niche market of people who were building these blogs around location-independent living, which was what I had already been doing for the past few years in Bulgaria and traveling around Eastern Europe writing for a living. So I was able to take that and apply those, basically, those lessons that I had learned from growing up in the freelance writing industry for the, the previous few years and just take that and apply it to creating a travel blog and then it just went from there. Now, obviously, there was a lot of business behind that. Um, the name actually worked pretty well because when I did it for the SpecFic magazine, it was related to um, fictional boundaries or or the boundaries that don't exist between worlds in the speculative fic in the speculative fiction industry. But then when I translated over into the travel blogging industry, the name worked as well because what I've always talked about on the blog is that it's one planet one people. The only maps, the only lines that exist are the maps that governments draw to tell us where we need to pay taxes and to keep us from you know, traveling because they want us to spend our tax dollars within the country and not outside of the country. So when I looked at that and said, well, it works as well for a travel blog because it signifies you know, imaginary lines or marginal boundaries. So I went ahead and stuck with the name and, and took it from there. Um, so that was the, that was the name side of things.